Hey guys, Sam from Amphus Makes. How are you all? So welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. So you will be seeing this on Monday and here at Mountfords Makes on a Monday for quite a while now. We have been doing Magazine Monday. This is where I delve into my stash of magazines that I used to be part of a subscription for. And we walk down memory lane of the um, editions that I have. Now, these editions are not current issues. You will not find these on the shelves. However, you can get ebook editions and you can find some of the patterns online. Um, bear in mind, this publication is a UK publication. So any patterns contained inside will be using UK terms. But never fear, there is always the handy dandy conversion chart at the back of every issue to help you translate to the terms that you are more familiar with. And even though I'm in the UK, I prefer US terms too. Um, this issue that we're going to be looking at today is issue 90 and it dates back to 2019. So again, please be aware that you cannot get this issue on the shelves at the moment. Simply Crochet, which is the um, uh, uh, brand that we are looking at, um, is still in publication today. You can still get a current subscription should you wish. They do not know that I am even doing these videos. I am not sponsored or affiliated in any way, shape or form. I just thought it was an interesting segment to have here on my channel. Um, but yes. Where was I going with that? I've just had a brain blank. So sorry, guys. Um, yes, even you guys across the pond can get a subscription too. It may obviously take a little while to get to you, but you can get a subscription to this magazine if you like it also. So it is inclusive to many of you watching. So like I said, Simply Crochet, issue 90. Let's have a look at the cover. This is an issue where we are moving into Christmas, but it's never too early to start getting some inspiration for those Christmas makes. So here is Deck the Halls with some lovely ornaments. There is this cute little girl here. There is Merry and Bright, 15 handmade gift ideas to start tonight. There is the Christmas Cushion Cow, Patterns, Ideas, Yarn and Inspiration. There is this festive sweater on the front, quick hats to crochet, and inside there are 40 festive patterns, including Christmas tree jumper or sweater, motif cardigan, two-tone cowl, and more. So let's dive in, shall we? So at the beginning, in and amongst all the adverts, and there are a lot of adverts, you get a double page spread featuring some of the patterns you will find inside. Here is the cover star sweater. Here are some festive makes, all with the same theme. Bright Christmas. So we shall look at those. In the hook to hook section that they feature in every edition, two designers are given the same yarn and they are given the challenge to design a similar project which you get both patterns for and when we get there I usually ask you to vote which you prefer so we'll do that a bit later there are these Christmas tree motifs there's a pattern for that um, it is pointing me to this article here which we shall look at there is the cute festive amigurumi doll there there is a Mobius cowl there is this here, which looks fabulous. Can't wait to look at that. There is this Christmas tree jumper or sweater here as well. A lovely festive blanket. The uh, cushion crochet along. There is this cute ornament here. So let's do this. So more adverts, more adverts. Now, the first few pages are little mini articles of interest. I don't take very long over these pages, guys, because they may not be relevant as this issue is from 2019. But I do like to show you how the magazine is laid out. And there is inspiring books. 
Now, I know for a fact the top one you can still get. It is Amigurumi Treasures by Irina Lee. I've recently um, got my hands on that book. It is on my shelf awaiting me to make something from it. But there are also a few more there, which I am not sure whether you can still get. But you can definitely get this one here. So it's nice that they point out some books for inspiration. Some more mini articles. And again, over here, and here they do fab finds. Hooky holidays, crochet makes for extra festive homes. So these are some extra festive patterns that they included as well. And here are skills, shows and events. So again, these will have long since passed because like I said, 2019 it is not relevant to today. And we start off with the bright Christmas, the festive decoration ideas, all is bright. We're dreaming of a bright Christmas with these colour blast festive accessories. So these are not your traditional Christmas or holiday colours, but I love them. There is this cute Christmas tree here. Look at that stocking, guys. Isn't that beautiful? There is this basket here holding some Christmas gifts. And there is a better picture of that one there. But change up the colour scheme, guys, in that basket could be an all-year-round basket. Here is a better picture of the cushion. Look at those tassels. And there are obviously the patterns for these beautiful ornaments to decorate at Christmas time. Again, in the non-conventional colours, but I love that. Okay, now we have some festive bunting super super cute but again switch up the colors guys and it could be all year round decor for your home and i do seriously love that stocking that is gorgeous so all of those items i have just shown you you do get the patterns for inside another quick reminder that the patterns are written in uk terms so you might may need to translate them but that's absolutely fine. Okay, next we're going to the chunky jumper or sweater that was on the front cover, I believe. There it is. For me, I would have to make it a bit longer. I like a longer jumper, but it looks fairly simple. So that is super cute. Again, change the colours and you could have a jumper or a sweater all year round. Here are some pictures of the finer details like the neckline and the cuffs absolutely gorgeous it says red set go a robin red breast palette offers a subtle nod to the season in fran morgan's simple sweater so you get the pattern for that one and here is a picture of the back so you can see that the design does go around the back as well okay more adverts okay matthew's journal from the studio Crochet artist, colour lover and our very own digital editor Matthew Spears talks us through the bright side of neons. So it, there is this wonderful article about Matthew. There he is. And his work with neons. And I am a fan of neon, just saying. So that would be nice to read while you enjoy your cup of tea or coffee. Another big advert okay embellish an outfit and there is a how-to video as well and it's fur e friend fur as in fur tree f-i-r transform a t-shirt into a tree shirt with just a little hooky magic by emma friedlander collins so you hook up that uh, motif there and stitch it onto a plain t-shirt so that could be an alternative to the ugly Christmas sweater or ugly Christmas jumper. I am not calling it ugly. I just know that that is the terms that people use. So if you didn't want a full on sweater, you could have a T-shirt instead, which is an awesome alternative. OK, Christmas Carol. This sweet Christmas girl is a playful alternative to a festive fairy. And it's designed by Magali Pumero, and I'm sorry if I have butchered that name. There is her name there. And there is the Christmas doll. Isn't she cute? I love the ruffles on her skirt and her plaited pigtails. 
and she is holding a festive hot chocolate in her hand. Oh, look at the details on her shoes. That is so cute. They're little reindeer shoes. Can you see? Absolutely adorable. Cute, cute, cute. So you get the pattern for her. Okay, now Shelly Simo, master shell stitch as you work up this easy to wear cowl designed by Elizabeth Davis D. Haraz. And there it is there, guys. Wait for my camera. There we go. Using the shell stitch. So that could be a quick little make as a gift. Okay, now is a good read article, Natural Selection. Canadian designer Kelly Brooks is carving out a niche for herself in the world of crochet with her love of nature infusing both her designs and her tools. So isn't that a gorgeous picture that you could get colour inspiration from, guys? And then there are the colour inspirations, but also with nature, she has some wooden hooks. So again, a lovely article. That is the lady in question. There's Kelly. Lovely little article to read. Okay, Granny Cardigan, oh so cosy. Stay ahead of the fashion pack this season with this on-trend winter warmer designed by Cassie Ward. And I actually really like this. I don't think I'd put the fringe on the bottom because you all know I'm not a fringe fan. But what a statement cardigan to wrap up and snuggle up in. I quite like that. And there is a closer picture of the granny design there. Cool. What did they use? And they use DK or lightweight three yarn. That surprises me, but awesome. Here is a picture of the back of the cardigan as well so the design goes throughout the whole garment and there is another picture of the granny squares there nice like i said i wouldn't put the fringe on but that is pretty nice i like that okay guys over to you you need to tell me which design you prefer because we're at hook to hook it says, we challenge two designers to come up with a fab design, each using the same yarn, which is your fave. So Elizabeth Davis D. Haraz did this one with the cute reindeer motif and the white pom-pom. And then Lucy Croft made this design here with the variegated pom-pom. So for me, I'm not really a hat wearer, but if I was going to be a hat wearer, I would probably wear this one, Lucy's. Which one would you pick? Let me know down in the comments. And yes, you get the pattern for both. Okay. Now this is adorable, this Christmas blanket. Happy Holidays. This timeless festive blanket is the perfect antidote to chilly winter evenings designed by Kate Eastwood. And just look at that, guys. Isn't that so cute? Especially with the holly and the robin. And then there's some mistletoe up here and a bow with just that simple red border to give it a pop. And I love the embroidered stars on it as well I'll give you a closer look at some of those added details that is adorable I love it absolutely love it okay so here is a picture of the blanket all laid out trying not to show you any of the pattern there we go so there we are guys isn't that stunning love it and i actually like the color palette they chose as well gorgeous okay another good read what crochet can bring to your christmas discover why crochet really is the craft that keeps on giving and there's a quote crochet makes a lovely gift because of all the hours you have put into it there is a picture of these lovely little decorations here and more 
here with the article and it continues on to the next page oh that gingerbread garland is cute i like that it's by kate eastwood so cute look at the bottle bags guys that gives you some ideas you've got a wreath stocking love it i think i need to find some time to get going on some christmas items i didn't do a lot of them last year okay in the next issue we will find super quick stocking fillers sparkle poncho hand warmers and cowl set snuggle elephant alpaca amigurumi tunisian dog jumper christmas cowl part four but look at that there isn't that beautiful it's got to be sequin yarn <gasps> gorgeous mm, looking forward to seeing that one next time okay yarn reviews marvelous minis six lovely little yarns that make perfect stocking fillers now i don't go too much into these again guys because i don't know if you can still get them but you always get a little mini pattern here for the motif you see that they have used in the yarns that were reviewed and the yarns they reviewed this time is hooked eco barbanti milano serdar happy cotton madeline tosh unicorn tail minis paint box simply dk shepherd's katona and i know you can get shepherd's katona and yarn and colors must have minis so that is their write-up on all of those okay this is the section called show us yours and that is where readers of this magazine send in pictures of the makes they have made from previous issue patterns that's gorgeous there is a little witch down here here are some other makes of readers he is so cute and then there is this lady and her jumper there the dragon and then in every issue there is a survey and in this issue they asked what's your favorite christmas crochet project three percent said christmas jumpers 24 percent said accessories 33 percent said toys or amigurumi and 40 percent said decorations and although i haven't made a lot most of what i've made for the christmas season are the toys or amigurumis so i would be in that group there now we are heading into the crochet workshop where we are learning crocodile stitch this time i have never actually done crocodile stitch add a 3d edge to projects with this easy technique so it walks you through step by step with pictures to help but bear in mind they are going to tell you the uk stitches on how to do it so you're going to have to translate it and then using what you've learned to do the crocodile stitch you get a pattern for oh christmas tree crocodile stitch makes fabulously festive trees so give becky skews your tree a try to hone your skills and that is what it looks like there guys isn't that cute so you can make those and now we are in to the handy dandy guides at the back in every issue it teaches you the crochet essentials again in the uk terminology but you can translate so if you are a beginner at crochet and you pick up this magazine they will help you learn the uk uh, version of learning to crochet right from the beginning of holding the hook all the way through the basics that you need for chaining and slip stitching and the basic stitches it walks you through everything you're going to need to know to begin which is awesome all the way to magic loop and joining rounds and then in every issue you get the abbreviations used in the patterns within the magazine you get your crochet hook conversion chart between uk metric and us 
you get your which hook do you use for which weight of yarn so that's handy as well and then here is that all all important chart to give you the uk crochet term and the us crochet term so a triple treble in the uk is a double treble in the us for example that is what you're gonna need okay then we have charts and diagrams which i cannot hold up for too long because of copyright and then Merry Christmas, the mini crochet along, join our festive cushion cowl designed by Marianne Rawlins. And I do have the other two parts of the cowl, so I will be able to do this if I wish, because I have all the parts. There are the graphs. But you get to make the gift, and it's very hard to see because of the dark colours. But this festive sprout, isn't he cute? There are six squares to make in total. So now I have all six squares, should I want to put them together to make the cushion. And yes, guys, I was excited to see a festive flamingo. So I now have all the bits and pieces I need to draw. Oh, that's a better picture of the sprout. To do this crochet along, should I wish to, which is awesome. And then last but not least, there is one final article called Hooky Treasure, Flower Bedding, Why Hattie Risdale's Petal Blanket Pattern Comes with a Matching Easter Egg. Oh, interesting. But there is that final article there. So that, guys, was Simply Crochet issue 90. I hope you enjoyed looking at that with me. I have definitely got some inspiration for the festive season at the end of the year. I know that I can pull this magazine out and get some festive makes done, should I wish to. So I'm going to let you guys go in, get going even. Um, I hope you have a fabulous crafting week ahead of you guys. Please do tune in and stick around because there is daily content here at Mountford's Makes and it is always a pleasure to have you visit with me. Um, tomorrow there will be a happy mail video which is awesome. Wednesday there is an acquisitions video and then of course tile of the week Thursday and crochet catch up finishing off with our Saturday live. So please, please, please do come back and join in when you can. But until then, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye guys. Love ya.